What's going on everyone? KJ here. Finally, I'm going to be unboxing something I've had sitting in my room for a long time. You've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title, you've seen the description. I'm going to be unboxing the Beyblade Burst Evolution Switch Strike Battle Tower, also known as the Battle Tower. So it's a basically a multi-level stadium, two levels, one side two players, the other side four players. Comes with two Beyblades, two launchers as well, one of them being Strike Valchek V3, Six Vortex Reboot, and Optimus N3, two Jaggy. So, um, like I said, stuff it comes with, the two bays that I listed already, two launchers, unfortunately not the Switch Strike ones, and the Battle Tower Stadium. Um, let's look at the stats for the bays quickly as well. So we have uh, Strike Valtriac V3 in attack type, also known as Strike Valtriac. Has 9 out of 10 attack, 6 out of 10 burst, 0 out of 10 defense, 4 out of 10 weight, 7 out of 10 agility, and 0 out of 10 stamina. And Noctimus N3, another attack type, uh, also known as Twin Noctimus. 4 out of 10 attack, 5 out of 10 burst, 4 out of 10 defense, 4 out of 10 weight, 5 out of 10 agility, and 0 out of 10 stamina. Almost a st almost a balance type build, but not, uh, apparently not. Um, now quickly to elaborate on this. So Strike Valtrek V3, if you watch the anime or if you've seen the Takara Tomi version, Strike God Valkyrie, it's supposed to have a Strike God ship, which it does, but it's unfortunately a cosmetic one, meaning that it doesn't actually lock the wings. As you can see here, the wings are still not locked, meaning it's the same gimmick as Genesis Valtrek V3 with the whole spring-bladed attack, which is very disappointing. Um, of course, it comes with six Vortex and a yellow reboot, same ability as the regular reboot. But for Noctimus, the disappointment is in another area. While you do still have the dual attack modes, that being Smash mode and Upper mode, it doesn't come with the anime combo or the combo that was released with Karatomi. With the anime combo, it was supposed to be three hit Jaggy. This comes with two Jaggy. And the uh, release, com the, co the combo that was released by Karatomi was three hit Ultimate Reboot. So it doesn't come with either of those things. So I'm hoping the Hasbro will actually release three and hit and potentially Ultimate Reboot soon. Uh, like I said with the Battle Tower, multi tiered stadium, two levels, one level four player, the other side two player. But yeah, with that all of the way, Let's unbox it. Oh yeah, here is the uh, barcode here. If you guys want to see it, I'll also be leaving that in the description. But um, a lot of this video will be sped up because I don't want it to be taking forever, like my Avatar Attack Battle Set unboxing. So yeah, I will talk in normal speed for certain parts, but not a whole lot or maybe some, I don't know, but we'll see. Let's get right into unboxing this baby though. Nothing else inside here. All right, let me clean up and I'll be right back. All right, so before we get into the assembly of the Battle Tower Stadium itself, we're gonna take a quick look at the other small pieces that came with this. So starting off, of course, you have your two regular Beyblade Burst right spin launchers and the corresponding grip cords. Um, you also have the score keepers. I think this one is for this one. Oh yeah, this is for the uh, four player section. You have your one, two, three, and four. And then this is for the uh, 1v1 section so you have your well actually yeah 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 both of them so this is for player one let me try to focus on it to make sure y'all can see yeah for player one here and this is for player two um and in these baggies here are all the parts and also the scorekeepers and stuff like that and also the tabs that can lock them into the Dallas tower so let's open these up so i'm gonna leave these i'm gonna leave these off to the side for now we don't really need them yet all right so like I said, taking a look at the combos, Strike Valtrek V3 here, also known as Strike Valtrek, like I said, cosmetic Strike Godship, meaning that the spring-bladed attack is the same thing from Genesis Valtrek V3. And, oh, sorry for the noise, but just let me get my, um, oops. Let me get my scale out. So here's the original one that came in the Star Storm battle set. So comparing the two, um, lost some detailing here on the wings. And of course you have the cosmetic strike God ship, but overall they both pretty much look very similar. Um, yeah, but we're going to weigh it as well. Uh, in a bit. Um, we also have the, uh, disc and frame that come with strike Valtrek V3, six and vortex. And I actually really like the color of this vortex. It reminds me of the, uh, color that star was, I think it was, um, I don't exactly remember, I'm sorry, but I really like this color. I'll, I'll tell you that for sure. So, let's cut off. There we go. And last but not least, a yellow reboot. Um, it's pretty decent yellow. I, mean, it's, I think it's the same color of the uh, edge that came with Phantasis P2. So, um, putting this combo together. 
Uh, there you go. The camera keeps going out of focus, but yep, there it is. So yeah, moving on, we have Noctimus N3, also known as Twin Noctimus. Right now, well, uh, the gimmick that it had is actually is very good. Kept it, uh, Hasbro did not change it. So right now it's in upper mode because basically slides up. And then to change the modes, also, oh yeah, here's the QR code, sorry about that. And it'll go right here. And also for Strike Valchek V3, QR code right here. Sorry about that. But um, to change the modes, basically you just push these little two tabs in and you can move around the layer. So now you can put it in up, I mean, sorry, in smash mode. So you have upper mode like that and smash mode like that. And then to lock it, you just put the two tabs out. So yeah. And then we have two disc, fortunately not three or hit. And Jaggy, which is like a very nice uh, dark blue or midnight blue, like that looks nice. Um, Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. But um, so yeah, uh, we're also going to weigh these, and I want to compare Strike Valchek V3's weight to my Genesis Valchek V3. So let's do that. All right. So first up, Genesis Valchek V3. Let me uh, let it focus. There we go. Okay, hold up. Sorry about that. Um, it's not. Oops. Let it just. There we go. Sorry about that. So it says 9.39. Sorry if it's hard to see. It's a little weird right now. And then for Strike Valtriac, so that was 9.39. This is 9.60. So I don't know if like the if the if this is supposed to like the the Strike God chip is making it a little bit heavier. I have no idea because it's cosmetic. We'll see. I don't know. And then Noctimus N3 is 12.12. .12. I'm sorry if that's really hard to see. It's not. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, and then for the full combos. Strike Valchek V3 6 Vortex Reboot is 40 grams. And Twin Noctimus. I mean, sorry, Noctimus N3 to Jaggy is. Um, actually, let me yeah, weigh it down. Is 38.30. Let me actually weigh uh, Strike Valtrek V3 um, down. So it's actually 40.01. So yeah, give or take. But all right. So moving on, moving on from that, we're finally going to get on to assembling the stadium. So I'm going to be speeding up a lot of that to save time. I don't want this video to be taking forever. So yeah, well, let's get right into it. All right. So got the instruction manual right here. So again, a lot of this will be sped up to save time. But it's not very hard to assemble, but I want to at least show you all the assembly process of it to the best of my ability. I'm not working with a lot of space here, but I'll do what I can do. All right. It's the uh, two-player side. Got to put the uh, scorecards in there. All right, so the two-player side is done. As you can see, both are there. Now we're going to do the same to the four-player side. All right. And now the four-player side has the scoreboards as well. So now what you're going to want to do is put the two-player side match basically this under here because this is actually the place where the two player like the two ba two bays will battle so this is going to go under here then you have your middle section so you're going to attach this this little thing here to this there's a few places it needs to snap too and when you're done it should look something like this so yeah just make sure that everything is properly yeah see looks like everything's in properly yeah because you have to snap it here 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 and down here too so just wanted to check now what you're going to want to do is put the two player section on top of this and you're going to have basically there are these tabs here right here and you want to match them with this little like little flap here too so and you're gonna if you once you do that you're gonna hear a, a little click. All right, and last but not least, you're going to put the four-player section on the other side of this, 
and basically the same thing you want to match these little flaps to this little thing here and so there is the here is the fully assembled battle tower here it is so last but not least the thing we need to do is put these stickers on so let's do that got my stickers right here Also, here is the QR code for the battle tower. Focus in on it. Is it focused? Nope, no, 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 it's not. There you go. Actually, you know what? I'll put it on the opposite side. It doesn't really matter. And now we're going to be putting the stickers on the four player section. I'm sorry if my camera keeps going out of focus. All right. Finally, we are done with the set. All the stickers have been used. So here is the completed battle tower. Here's a look at the four player section. Um, again, sorry if my, uh, yeah, sorry if, the fo sorry if the focus wasn't like consistent throughout the video, I was focused on putting this together. But here is the four player section and here is the two player section. So uh, I'm gonna do some battles in there too, but of course, I'm also gonna be doing a few battles between uh, Noctimus N3 and Strike Valtrek V3 in here as well. So let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna do some battles first in the two player section, and it'll be first to three points. Looking quickly at the rules, if you get a survivor finish um, and your bay is the last top spinning on the lower level, one point. If you get a survivor finish and, last ba and your bay is the last, ba and your bay is uh, last bay spinning on the top level, two points. Uh, you get two points if your bay, if your opponent's bay bursts in battle and yours is on the lower level. And you get three points if your opponent's bay bursts and you're on the top level. And for the four player mode, you get uh, one point if you are the last top spinning on the lower level and two points if you're the last top spinning on the top level. I don't know why there's no rule for bursts on the four player mode, but yeah. So, um, but we're going to do first three points here and we're also going to do first to five points in my B33, my trusty B33 over here, but that's for later on in the video. But, uh, first battle. Uh, I'll also be switching Noctimus from Smash to Upper Mode and back and forth, but with that out of the way, let's get right into the first battle. Ah. Oops. Dang it. Sorry about that. Let's try it again. Can't launch too powerful in this stadium, which annoys me, which really annoys me. Uh, unless you want to get knocked out, so. Okay. Well, uh, Strike Valtriac V3 gets... Let's see how many points does it get. Let's look at the rules again. It's two points actually. Survivor so finishes the last base spinning on the top level. Two points it is. So the score is now two to zero. So let's move on to the second battle. All right, here we go. Second battle. All right. All right, so Noctimus gets one point. Is it because it's the last base spinning on the? Oh wait, actually, sorry, last base spinning on the top level. So that it's actually tied two to two. I'm sorry, it's tied two to two because it gets two points. So let's move on to the third battle. Well, it will also be switched back to Smash mode. All right, here we go. Third battle. All right, so. Actually, wait, we gotta wait for it to, gotta wait for one of, them, one of them to stop spinning. All right, so Noctimus takes it on the top level with the final score being four to two or two to four in that case. So let's move on to first to three points on the four player level. All right, here we go. First battle. Okay. All right, Noctimus starts it off, getting zero, make, making the score zero to two with a survivor finish on the top level. Let's move on to the second battle. All right, here we go. Second battle.
All right. All right, so Noctimus, although that was a close battle, it still does take it by Survivor Finish, making the score 4-0 to zero or 0-4. Zero to four. Um, So, yeah, it wins on both sides. But now, my thing, my final thing with this stadium, um, and after that, we're going to do some battles in the B-33, and where I'll actually be able to launch at full power. See, that's the main problem with this stadium. First off, you're not really given enough power to launch. It's very small. These, ver these pockets are very small. Number one. Number two, if you launch at full power, you put yourself at risk for being knocked to the lower level. So you kind of you can't really launch at full power to have an actual meaningful battle with your opponent. Um, and for me, I'm an older fan, so what I've wanted from Hasbro Burst for a long time would be the great stadiums that the Keratomi has given us, like the B09 and the B33. Uh, we still haven't had that yet, and all the stadiums that they've given us have either been too big, too big, too small, or too gimmicky. Um, again, that's just my that's just my wish. That's what I want. You know, this probably is going to attract members of the target market for Hasbro Hasbro's Burst products, which are kids. You know, um, for me, not so much. But I only I only got the stadium twice, really. I only got the stadium to test Noctimus N3. You know, because that's the only way to get Noctimus N3 so far. Same thing with Satoom and uh, Strike Valtric V3. Um, I mean, it's not really that much heavier. It's only a, a couple gram, like a few grams heavier. But not 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 a few, not uh, not a whole lot of grams heavier than uh, original Genesis Valtric V3. So yeah. But, um, I mean, would I say this is a worthy buy? Uh, depends on why you want it, really. Um, I wanted it because of Noctimus N3, so that was the reason why I bought it. But if you don't really care about Noctimus N3, um, and you don't really like the stadium already, I, I wouldn't, you know, use your money. Because this is, this is $50 right here, so that's a lot of money. Um, but, yeah, uh, you know, and already coupled with the fact that we don't get the correct parts for Noctimus, and we don't get, well, Strike Valtriac v3 could have if it if it came with ultimate reboot that would have been nice but even then it, the the strike god ship should have worked for it and i would i would have been really interested in testing a strike valtrek v3 for hasbro because they have one for Takeratomi. strike god valkyrie res, uh, restricts the wings locks the wings in place and i would I, that's really interesting now you can do a mod for it now one of my buddies uh sakura made great some great videos showing how you can mod the layer to actually do it for hasbro's too so if you you know I, i'll leave one of them in the description if you actually want to if you're interested in that but um but yeah, for me, it, you know, depends on why you, it really just depends on why you want this set. Um, but yeah, so with that out of the way, now you know my thoughts on this set, the base it comes with and all that stuff. Also, I wish it came with Switch Strike launchers. It is what it is. But yeah, with that all out of the way, let's get into some real battles with the B33 where I can launch at full power and it'll be first to five points. Noctimus will be switching in and out of Smash and upper mode. All right, here we go. First battle. I'll sliding shoot both of them every battle though. Because both of them are. Alright, just circling each other for right now. Alright, so not gonna mistake the first battle, making the score 0 1. Let's move on to the second battle. Alright, here we go. Second battle. All right, reboot, activated. All right, they're getting closer and closer to attacking each other, so let's see who happens this time. But another win for Noctimus, making the score 0-2. Let's move on to the third battle. All right, here we go. Third battle. Okay, whoa. Whoa, okay, strike Valtriac V3 with a stadium out, making the score one to two. Let's move on to the fourth battle. All right, here we go. Fourth battle. Once again, moving around each other. And Noctimus gets another win, making the score one to three. Let's move on to the fifth battle. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Fifth battle. Once again, no attacks. Yeah, another survivor finish for Noctimus. Making the score one to four. Let's move on to the sixth battle. All right, here we go. Sixth battle.
and Noctimus and three wins with the final score being one to five or five to one. But uh, yeah, let me actually move this stadium and put the other one back. All right, but uh, yeah, so that's basically my unboxing um, thoughts slash review, whatever you want to call it. Uh, assembly as well. I needed, I wanted to include that because I wanted to show y'all how how it is, how you assemble it. Um, but that's basically everything about the Battle Tower set. Um, thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, be sure to give it a like. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my uploads. But until next time, I'll see y'all later.